premiere. That is what it is. Right. I kept thinking of Marvin Gaye, how he, what he used to do to relax, Grace which was masturbate. Grace YouTube <laughs> channel. Yeah, it's relaxing. Sorry. So, so, so many actors have to be either like a blockbuster mainstream actor or an indie actor. Hi. You guys do both. All what right. made you say, I don't have to choose? Mm. By choosing. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you chose both. Yes. <laughs> it's partly your own choice, and it? it's also partly what, what you got offered and what the studio is and what the independent world let you do, you know? Uh, I think the fact that we're from foreign climes as well slightly helps because it means that, I don't know, you're. You, I think you're seeing something different sometimes when you go. That sounds like Hugh Jackman to me. Oh! <laughs> it's gotta be. Yeah! What? He's here from the future! He's the only, he's the only way I get. Oh shit, I fucked it! Come on! <laughs> it wasn't the dance move, it was the airport, brother. <laughs> How are we gonna use that? It's the only way I can get him like up. Well, yeah, he was yeah, almost exactly. sleeping yeah. before. Oh, this one too. You? Oh, so you're both like an alarm clock for that. Yeah, both hung over <laughs> these two. Wake up, boys. Come on. Yeah, okay, we're good. Thanks for that. That's perfect. You are both awesome in this movie. Thanks, Thanks. dude. Yeah. Tell them, they're awesome. You guys are movie. awesome in this movie. Thank you. And That's the only reason. You can't get through five minutes without saying that. I've got to say, you are totally in this film. I was in it. You're yeah, so yeah. in it. Yeah. Really? You're so in this film. Thanks. And the He's costume. He's in this film. The costume. <laughs> your costume was awesome. Have you seen yeah. the lady with your hair? Yes. Pretty good effort, eh? See you later, pal. See you, man. That's when you know you've made it. Yeah. He's a compulsive liar. See you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Who's that? Yeah, dude. Huh? Who's that? I have no idea. So he just drops it on you guys all the time. I don't know who that is, but oh. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, I thought it was maybe one of those fan experiences things. You get mm. a lot of fans. Come <laughs> come <coughs> bother yeah, you want to come Yeah. Mm. Well, <laughs> well you make sure he gets a poster, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. And a kiss. Well, you know, you guys, I was so surprised. You actually even sounded like Ian McKellen oh, in thanks. this movie. Did Thank you. you. Got, did it help having them on set and to be involved with this film? Well, you didn't the really very... cross paths oh, yes. too much. No, I only saw him in um, in uh, San Diego for Comic Con. Um, so he was uh, he was there and gone by the time by the time I got there. Did you did you plan to imitate his accent, his his I, inflection? I guess. Yeah, I just sort of listened to you know to, um, interviews with him and sort of. Focused on that more than I definitely did do in, in the first one, in first class. Um, well, primarily because we're sort of in parallel in this film. So, yeah, absolutely. I thought, I thought that was great. <laughs> I'm not answering that question for us. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Well, you know what else no. I thought that was really interesting? That Mystique was brought up almost to the level of Magneto and Professor X. So, you know, she's really the third person in the move, uh, mutant movement. Yeah. How do you think, what's the benefit of putting her at the same level, making you guys a trio instead of the usual one against the other? Well, you introduce a, kind of a feminine energy into you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you introduce a feminine energy into the sort of the leadership, I suppose, of, of these movies, and that's a good thing. Up until then, we had to interject our feminine energy into <laughs> yeah. the characters. Which and let me tell you, <laughs> I didn't find too hard. Well, you didn't, no, but I found it exhausting at times. Well, you had to do it for the team, Absolutely. Right? But, but, you know, I think Mystique is such a great character as well. As yeah. She's such an amazing weapon, you know, because of, you know, her gift and powers. So it makes perfect sense that she would be at the forefront of it all. Well, your weapon, I mean, your uh, your powers are pretty awesome as well. <laughs> Careful, Careful now. Powers. Careful now. <laughs> Safety on. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, you're not a raccoon. Your action sequences are very good. <laughs> Thank and you. I was also surprised at how far they let your character go. Oh, yeah. Were you guys All like, the way. Were, you, were you guys like, yes, or were you apprehensive about taking Magneto yes. to that place? Which place, though? You know, a special more place. Villainous area, place. You know? happy place. Well, I think, he, you know, he's a villain. Um, he's <laughs> sort of, he's angry. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, I think. Uh, there has to be a sort of big sort of, you know, standoff between the two. Um, and, and, you know, he is, I think in this uh, film, more sort of of that megalomaniac villain than we would have seen in the first one. He's definitely, you know, a, a loner in this mm -hmm. one. You know, he's a sort of lone army. So he's definitely more clear and more ruthless and more Machiavellian than ever. Definitely. And my last question is, yeah. you got, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. It. All right, I, I understand. Okay, that was great. That was great. Thank you. Cool. Thank, so you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.